Hey guys, it's Shogun. Um, I was too lazy to type this part. So um, make sure you're using the cool Vatica RG font. It's the font that Retro uses. And then you want to make sure that you're doing the text on a different me on a, on a different project on 60 FPS. And I repeat, do not use 60 FPS for your movements, but only for the text. All right. So um, after you're done with that, you want to duplicate your text layer, and then you want to make different types of layers where you type each individual letter and then you want to align it to to the original i'm not sure if there's any other way to do this but uh this is what i do and uh yeah just do that once you finish make sure to delete the original text layer then move on to the shapes and make a rounded rectangle and make sure to cover the entire text after that cut the rounded rectangle for two frames and then move it back one frame After I just moved the other layers to the back so I could start editing on the S. I duplicated the S layer because I want to maintain the size. So what we're going to do is the very first S, we're going to cut it and then make it, we'll actually enlarge it as well as the rectangle that we made earlier. When you're here, you want to duplicate the S layer and make sure that they're only one frame. In the video, it's two frames, but I don't know, it's just like a glitch or something like that, but make it one frame. And then on the second S layer, you want to change the color to black and then add a stroke, move it to 15 and then make sure the stroke is color white. After that, you want to go to blending the option on the upper right and um, you want to click lighten and then linear dodge. The next few parts are fairly easy, but um, you might want to slow down a bit if it's too fast for you. But um, I'll just come by every time something is too complicated to explain. Now that we're doing the third S, we're actually going to do what we did earlier with the strokes and the linear dodge stuff. For this rectangle, make sure it covers up the half, the other half of your text. For this frame, we're going to minimize the G and then the U. 
the following fast forward don't worry about it i was just fixing my uh, layers and stuff but yeah don't worry about it all right now that we're finished minimizing those gnus uh this is gonna be the next part just watch closely Over here, you want to cut one frame from the H and then cut again one frame. And then the second frame, you want to zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Over here, I just duplicated the rectangle on top of the H and we're gonna have to move it on top of the N this time. Over here, we cut the N and then into one frame actually and then the frame in the middle will zoom out a little bit. Then over here, the rectangle that we use at the very start, we're now going to paste it onto the back and just watch carefully for this part. Alright, there we go. We finished the retro text. I'm glad y'all got to the very end and that you have learned something new today. Happy editing, everyone.